Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JVS review featuring your boy Lou from Earth 2 Comic Has in association with JVS. That sounds weird, right? I know it does because it sounds weird to me. But today I'm here to bring you a movie review of our latest screening for Zombie Land 2 Double Tap. Dun dun dun. I feel like a dun 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 was necessary because this movie is freaking crazy. So, Zombie Land 2 Double Tap, starring Emma Stone, Jesse Eisenberg, Woody Harrelson, Abigail Breslin, and a bunch, not a bunch, but enough other supporting characters that will keep you rolling, keep you laughing, keep you doing everything humanly possible. And I talk with my hands, so please excuse me talking with my hands, but this is an awesome movie, and I know I'm kind of talking fast also because I'm kind of excited, kind of sleepy, kind of excited after seeing this film. But, um, basis of the story. The four guys from the 2009 movie come back to fight more zombies. Kind of simple plot. Not much to pull from it, but the execution could be some of the best work that Sony has put out this year. Um, and I know that's saying a lot for some people. Some people like Sony's catalog so far this year. Some people don't like Sony's catalog. Some people don't even like to hear the word Sony because of a certain character that they were fighting with enough studio over. But that has nothing to do with... Zombie Land 2 Double Tap. Again, it picks up 10 years after the first film. I think they did a great job at the time difference and not trying to make it seem like these characters are still in this time period. So, we're introduced to these characters and we get introduced to them killing zombies as they had did the entire prior movie. They start off at the beginning of this movie doing the same thing. Pretty dope scene, pretty dope setup from the beginning. Lots of gore. Lots of gore. Um, lots of gore <laughs> to start this movie off. But again, it's hilarious. It works very well. Emma Stone, Jesse Eisenberg, their chemistry is still there. Still works wonderful together. We see Woody Harrelson in all his craziness. And that's awesome to always see. Abigail Breston plays the younger sister-like, daughter-like figure in this movie very well, making some wise decisions, making some not-so-wise decisions that really help propel the story forward. You're going to really like it. We get introduced to multiple zombies in this movie, as zombies have, in some cases, evolved, and in some cases, devolved. So, we're introduced at the beginning of the film, and I don't think this is a spoiler, so I can tell you, to three different types of zombies. We have the Homer zombie, which is equivalent to Homer Simpson if he was a zombie. Very stupid, very crazy like zombie. Then we introduce to the Hawking zombie and they named it Hawking's off of Stephen Hawking's or as they say his lesser known sister who was not as bright as he was Hawking's as this zombie makes smarter decisions, does things to kill people because it has evolved. And then we get the ninja zombie that by the time you hear it, it's too late and you're gonna already be dead. It is another zombie that they bring up in this. I don't want to tell you too much about it. It's pretty dope, pretty cool. I'm gonna wait till you see the movie so you can experience that like I experienced that. So again, we're dropped in the 2019, 10 years after the first film. We see just them living their lives, them trying to live through this whole zombie apocalypse thing. And again, just humor. Just imagine if you were trapped with three other people and it was kind of just you three and you having to deal with the world that way until we get introduced to some more interesting characters. But that chemistry between all four of them, especially again, Emma Stone, Jesse Eisenberg, you're going to really like. It's really dope. And this is coming from someone who saw Zombieland for the first time two days before the screening because I had never fully seen Zombieland. I always saw pieces of it. So when I saw it today, I was like, oh, this is a cool movie. After I left Double Tap, I was like, dude, I can't believe not only did you make a movie equally as good, but to me, better. Like, it's, it's, the, it's the perfect case of a sequel being bigger, better, and badder. 
like it's funnier than that movie is clearly the gore is bigger clearly the budget is bigger like they did everything bigger in this film but didn't take away the essence of what made the first zombie land a cult classic that so many people like yourselves love and you're gonna love this one i mean there's no gripes to have about it it's shot for a zombie movie it's shot really well the score is really non-existent in it it's weird to say the sound editing is what makes this movie even better but it does um acting this wise everyone's great in it including the little cameos they have by certain people the other characters that introduce especially one character that could have stole the entire movie with their performance it's amazing i'm just gonna wait till you see it so you can experience the way i did um again the new zombie that they in introduced also amazing just the whole storyline in general for a movie about zombies that should be silly this movie never crosses over to be too silly it's it's still interesting it's still like a great story it's, it's a human story more than anything else and i know i'm trying to sound serious about this because it's a movie with zombies in it and you know zombie shows like Mm, kind of up in the air especially like it's a long running zombie show that's on television that they kind of make fun of in this movie and it hits it lands i don't think they missed a single joke in this movie and that is very rare for a film that has so many jokes for it not to feel like they missed one of them you're gonna love it i loved it if I had to give it a rating uh, out of 10, I would say probably 8.5. It's awesome a movie. You're going to enjoy it. I'm surprised, again, it did not get released during the summer. I don't know who is in charge at Sony of releasing movies. This is the perfect summer movie, but I'm happy they saved it for fall. It's going to make up. If you go see those other films, I'm not going to name them, but one film in particular that could be depressing, go see this one. Take the family. Take, take the whole family. Make, make sure they're all teenagers, though. Don't... No, no little kids, no little kids. But like, you got like teenagers, preteens, man. Load them up in a minivan and take them to see Zombie Land 2 Double Tap. Awesome movie again. This has been Lou with another JVS movie review. Peace.